Hope Media joined other entities and organizations such as Optiven, Corat Africa and CIC in the launch of the Chief Executive Officers Association themed Iron Strengthens Iron. The association will enable different CEOs partner with other organizations to network, partner and support in an effort to enhance and grow business. Our reporter Whitney Akinyi has more. A group of chief executive officers, CEOs in Nairobi have launched a forum dubbed Chief Executive Officers Association in an effort to unite CEOs across the world. The founding chair of the association, Roger Sodima, who gave a brief description of the functions of the forum, said the main aim of coming together as CEOs is aimed at creating job opportunities in the country. Just to come together and sharpen each other as role model leaders, the second one is actually to network but the third one is to support each other. And that's why we are even talking, for example, about the partnerships. How do we support each other to grow? And uh, they, uh, so that the more we grow, for example, whether in business, not for profit, and even in the government, the more we create employment. While commissioning the CEO's forum, lead pastor of Mission to the Body of Christ International, MBCI Apostle John Kimani, urged Christians in various spaces of influence to take up the role of raising Christian integrity in their marketplaces and urged Christians to make an impact in their jurisdiction in order to transform the world. The church in Africa has only ascended in one mountain, the mountain of faith. But we have left the other mountains. We don't aspire to take dominion over the other mountains, the mountain of education, the mountain of governance, the mountain of business and commerce. We don't aspire to take dominion in other mountains. So we build mega churches that are full of thousands of people. But when you go out there in the marketplace, uh, our people are not trained. You are supposed to, as a CEO, to let your right shine in the marketplace. And when people see your right shining, they can be able now to acknowledge the God who is at work in your life. Gracing the event was the Cabinet Secretary of Labor and Social Security, Florence Bore, who acknowledged the ministry's need to foster a globally competitive, responsive, and adaptive workforce through development skills and programs that will respond to the skills required in the future job market. My ministry, through the State Department of Labor and Skills Development, remains cognizant of the need to foster a globally competitive responsive and adaptive workforce through skills development programs that can adequately respond to the current and future skills demands of the industry. Unemployment and underemployment remain major developmental challenges in the country, mainly due to rapid population growth, low economic growth, as well as the structural rigidities within the labor market. Whitney Akinyi, Hope TV Newswatch, Nairobi. Take a, a